This is an exclusive reminder recorded for I Love You Allah channel. This is the hadith that gives us goosebumps every time we hear it. Imagine standing on the day of judgment, a day beyond anything we've ever known. In that moment, we are alone before Allah, feeling the weight of our lives. And then, as we look around, we notice something incredible. Mountains of good deeds surrounding us. Some are familiar, moments of kindness, charity, and prayer. But then, we see so much good that feels unfamiliar, as if it belongs to someone else. In wonder, we ask, where did all of this come from? The answer given to us is overwhelming. These are all the duas you made that were not answered. Subhanallah, just imagine that. These are the prayers that in this life seem to go unanswered. The ones we waited for, cried for, and asked Allah for night after night, but never saw. In that moment, we will understand the reason behind the silence we couldn't comprehend. This person will then wish from the very depths of their heart, I wish Allah had never answered a single one of my prayers, so that I could receive all this good in the hereafter. It's hard for us to grasp that now. In this life, we ask for so much. We have dreams, wishes, and hopes. We ask Allah for things that feel essential to our happiness, our peace, and our lives. We ask for success, for love, for security, and for health. And sometimes, when these prayers seem to go unanswered, we feel pain, disappointment, and frustration. It can feel like a loss, a silence we don't understand. But on that day, every single unanswered prayer will be explained. Fast forward to that day of judgment, and there we stand, hearing the angels recount each unanswered prayer. They say, remember that job you wanted so badly. That opportunity you felt was perfect for you. Remember that person you longed to marry, or that financial security you wished for. Every single one of those things that felt like rejections, every prayer you thought went unheard. And then, with a clarity beyond anything we could ever imagine, we'll understand. We'll realize Allah was holding out for something far greater than what we could see at the time. Allah was reserving something better, something eternal. Each withheld blessing was in fact a gateway to Jannah. Every unanswered prayer was a gift stored for us in a place far beyond this world. In that moment, we'll recognize that what we truly needed wasn't to have all our wishes fulfilled here. What we truly needed was Allah's wisdom and His mercy guiding us, even when we didn't understand, and even when it felt painful. We'll see then that the greatest blessings were sometimes those we were denied, because Allah was protecting us from settling for less than what He had planned for us. So. As we sit here now in this life, feeling the weight of waiting and wanting, let's remember this hadith. Let's remember that even in the silence, Allah's mercy is at work for us. Sometimes, the most profound mercy is what isn't given and what's kept for us for a day when we'll need it most. Our real treasure, our real reward, is waiting in the hereafter. Ya Allah. Give us patience, strengthen our hearts so we can trust your wisdom, even when we don't understand. And on that day, when we finally see our blessings stored up beyond what we could have ever imagined, let us be filled with gratitude. Let us thank you, knowing that you answered our duas in ways we could have never foreseen.